In this video I want to tell something about VLF. VLF means very low frequencies. And they, that are electromagnetic uh, waves in our atmosphere going from say 2 Hz up to approximately 100 kHz or perhaps even 200 kHz. In the past I made quite a few videos about it and um, they are very old by the way, 10 years ago, 15 years ago or so that I started all that, those experiments. And I also uh, made an antenna, I hope I can reproduce how I made that antenna. Anyway, uh, this is video is a one take. Um, and this is a very, very old video that I made. I made an antenna uh, regarding a, a VLF receiver. And in fact, a VLF receiver is not much more than an audio amplifier. A normal audio amplifier goes from, say, 20 Hz to approximately 20 kHz. But there are also audio amplifiers that go to 50 kHz and even 100 kHz. Uh, because of, say, the properties of the transistors or whatever. Say, the whole properties of the schematic. So, at first I want to show this very old video that I made in the past. Uh, this is only a vlog. So, anyway, let's look and listen, etc. By uh, electromagnetic influences. And you can also hear, see, this is... A lightning strike, I presume. You can also see here a line coming. Yeah, very good. So, um, this it was on my old address in the Netherlands and you saw that lightning strike electromagnetic influences. Here is a scale, this is 10 kilohertz and this is say, well, it's approximately on 5 kilohertz. I made an antenna in the past that had a, had a resonance frequency in the order of uh, 1 kilohertz up to approximately say 7 kilohertz. And of course all these electromagnetic uh, things that I showed on the spectrum analyzer are, at least for me, not very easy to understand. Why is it that line here? Uh, of course I understand that there was a, a lightning strike uh, with a lot of frequencies around 5 kilocycles electromagnetic influences picked up by that antenna, that electromagnetic uh, sensitive antenna, etc, etc. I have made by purpose in all my videos and also the video that I want to publish now, links to all the old uh, videos, schematics, etc, etc. So when you want to say get an orientation on this whole idea of VLF receiving, uh, you can go to these uh, videos. And I know that there are also on VLF, say between 10 kilohertz and 100 kilohertz, beacons, radio beacons. Uh, as far as I know, for uh, weather forecasts, etc., etc. So anyway. Want to try to get to another video? I hope it will succeed. Uh, this is that that first video that I made a long time ago. It is control click here. So perhaps now we are going to see something. Well, this is advertisement, of course. This is a video about storm detector, storm detector one. On my channel, you can see. Um, radio receiver for storm to detect storms and jet engines. Um, 
The first thing is that you have. By the way, that was a circuit that was published in uh, Radio World 1962, as far as I can remember. And you could receive the electromagnetic influences caused by um, uh, engines and, of course, other electromagnetic, uh, I mean, jet engines and other uh, electromagnetic influences in our atmosphere. To develop a coil for the received frequency, and it has to be about 4 to 5 kilohertz. You see it here. This is the coil, and this is the capacitor. After that, it's fed into an amplifier. It's amplified the radio signal on that frequency, and you can then put it on the scope or something. Um, here you see how I've built the first stage of this coil. This is the coil here. It's made from wood. It's 43 centimeters on all sides, and over that I broke wire from animal wire from uh, uh, 0 0.1 millimeter. So the first thing I have to do is to test the coil on what frequency that's on. I've done this by my uh, sinus generator that generates frequencies between 20 Hz and 500,000 Hz. I coupled the coil and the capacitor with 22 picofarad and over the coil I put the scope so I can uh, search on which frequency this coil generates. Uh, I took a capacitor from 20 nanofarad here over the coil. So um, when I turn the frequency on my uh, Sina wave generator here, you can see on the scope that there comes resonance on a certain point. Here the resonance is almost maximum. So, when I read now the frequency uh, counter, I can see on what frequency this combination resonates. It's 8.9 uh, kilohertz, so it's a little bit too high. So, I so this is a very old uh, video that I made in the past. I recognize, I don't recognize my own, my own voice. Uh, in those days, a long time ago, uh, well, um, this is say a kind of way to tune such a VLF antenna to a certain frequency. Say you can test it in that way. Uh, well, so search a resonance with the help of a low frequency sine wave generator, etc. etc. Perhaps I can show another video before going to my workbench. Uh, this is also control click. Perhaps this shows something something uh, interesting. Mm, this is a video about storm detector, storm well. detector one. On my channel, you can see um, a radio receiver for storm. I think it's the same circuit. I made this circuit one time with a field effect transistor input. One time with a bipolar transistor input, everything worked, and one time with a tube input. And in the text box of all these old videos, you can find the all the information. So you can go to all the links here, etc. etc. I've updated everything today. So, in fact, uh, when I told in the preceding video that I want to, to make a VLF receiver to receive Ulaanbaatar somewhere in Russia. Uh, I have in fact go to my old videos and do it all over again. That has something to do with the electronics hobby uh, 
Sometimes you forget certain things and have to do it all over again. But anyway, uh, this was, say, a very, very good idea. So let's go to the workbench. Do it all over again. That what I was talking about here is, say, uh, oh, sorry, oh, the chart, the chart about nano VNA. That was in the uh, the video of yesterday. Here is the receiver that I published, say, two weeks ago or so. Here is an, a VLF coil with a ferrite rod, and let's listen. Uh, but of course, not of course, but uh, at the moment I am not receiving anything special. Anyway, let's listen. Of course you can call this special. Sorry, my camera flips. That's bad. Sorry for that. Uh, you will hear this. This is the waveform at the output and please realize that this is the most uh, simple receiver that you can make. Uh, the detection is kind of AM detection here in the second transistor, uh, the base emitter uh, junction etc etc. So anyway, uh, electronics is fun. So, here the whole ID, ferrite rod, VLF coil, um, tuning capacitor, uh, oscilloscope here. And in fact, I'm not, I don't know what I'm receiving here. Sorry to say, but it's interesting. So here we tune it to the maximum. It's somewhere on VLF. Anyway, when I push the ferrite rod in and out, we go to other VLF frequencies. And by the way, when you are interested in uh, VLF, you can also do all these experiments with software-defined radio, and perhaps even much better, because the computer is a, a very helpful thing. I'm not talking about artificial intelligence. Uh, that's a serious thing to take in account. Everyone is talking about it at the moment.